In this video, we're going to see how to create new sketches from scratch inside of Autodesk Inventor. Here from the My Home screen, I could choose to start a brand new part, but instead I'm going to use the More Templates and choose an explicit one. I'm going to choose my Infinite Skills IPT here, which is just a blank starting part. It has a few different color settings in it, but that's really the only thing that differs from yours. However, the units here are set to inch, so I will be using an inch type standard. This starts me into a brand new part file. You can see I have a loan designator here of part three. This will be different depending on how many new parts you start in a given day and every time you restart the software. But the first thing I want to do is think about how I'm going to build my design. Do I want to build my design symmetrically around certain origin planes? Do I want to build it in a single quadrant on a certain plane? Do I want to basically just go at it and not really care about how it's going to be built symmetrically or with any design intelligence? If I go up to Start 2D Sketch up here in the upper left, it's going to prompt me to pick a plane to start on. So if I do want to build symmetry around a design, let's say I want to build symmetry around this plane here, the YZ plane. I can tell it's YZ because of the name of it there, or the XY plane, or the XZ plane. Essentially, I can choose one, start sketching on it, and then when I start building my features, I can do it in an intelligent way so it updates the way I want to. I'm going to begin here on the XY plane. Now, into this first sketch, I do have my origin point of the part file automatically projected. And by being projected, that means that it's automatically there for reference, and I can create lines off of it, I can create circles off of it, I can dimension to it because it has been projected. So if I go here to my origin folder on the left hand side, there I will see the center point highlight. I can also see other items as well, such as X, Y, and Z axes, and my other planes. I can't really project my X, Y plane because I'm actually drawing on that. However, if I want to build symmetry around my XZ plane or my YZ plane, I could project those in to utilize them. However, as a generally accepted practice, most people don't project these unless they're doing a lot of revolutions. If I just need to do symmetry, I can use the origin point by itself to do a lot of that for me. Now, if you are in a scenario where you want to project those planes, it's really easy to do. We can go up here to Project Geometry from our Sketch tab on the Create panel. I'll select Project Geometry up here, and then I can choose one of the planes from my tree. And by doing this, it'll put down a projected reference, essentially some line geometry, and then I can utilize that to dimension to, to create symmetry constraints around, to mirror around, all sorts of things that can now be utilized by using those reference planes. It's important that we choose a good design method to get started on, to start building our initial sketches, to start building our initial features, because we want them to update and carry through in history in a logical manner. So when we come back here and change something through an engineering change request or an engineering change order, then we can do so in a easy to modify way. Now I also think about the origin in ways that I might want to assemble this design later on. For instance, I might build a circle around the center point so that I can use the axis of the part to line up an axis to a bushing or a bearing that it fits into or a gearbox. So I can use assembly constraints at that higher level to logically put things into their proper place to put them together into my completed design. So this has been a look at creating brand new parts and brand new sketches for the first time inside of Autodesk Inventor. And remember, just give it enough design thought where it makes sense on how you're building your initial sketch. If you don't know right away, that's fine too. The more you use the software, the better you'll get at planning your initial 2D sketches and deciphering how they're going to fit into the assembly. Some people just try to design parts and then off they go. And downstream, they start to figure out that, well, maybe I should have built that differently. Just take a few extra moments and think about how this part would interact with other parts downstream.